Now, big announcement. Torino, here we come. Hey. Hello. I would say good morning, but I don't want to lie to you. It is, it's not the morning. In fact, the sun's basically gone down. Big day though. Today, the reason I am here, which if, you, if you're a long time viewer, then thank you very much. If you're not, then click the subscribe button down below. But if you're a long time viewer, you'll know that this is my old house. This is my parents' house. Myself and Seb. Let me find him. Where are you? Seb, where are you? There he is. Hello, say hi. Hi, are these Yes. Yes, they are. Myself and that excuse of a human being moved into a house down that way somewhere. Not that long ago. Roll the clip. Now, hmm, that was New Year's that we moved in. It was only a couple of months ago, as you know. Since then, we've had a bit of a dilemma because we moved, we were renting in that house. And the people that we were renting from... Hi. <laughs> <laughs> had told us that the house was for sale, but it had been for sale for a ludicrous price for about two and a half years. So the real estate agent told us, look, realistically, you can stay in this house for at least a year, if not longer. But if she sells it, you need to get out, but that's not going to happen. So we were like, yeah, fine, whatever, you know, that's the risk you take. The place is good, we got a good price on it. Okay, fast forward two and a half months, place gets sold. We have two weeks to get out. Really? I'm just upstairs. <laughs> the video's already ruined with you being in it, so it doesn't matter if I'm in it. So we got out and we moved back into my parents place till we decided what we were gonna do now big announcement I'm moving to London. Yeah. Yeah, it's about time. I figured I love Monaco. I love it down here My parents are to have this house here So I'd be able to come down for things like Grand Prix and top marks But there seems to just be so much more going on in London So I figured you know what why not give it a go for a few months if I don't enjoy it come back if I do stay there long term London City, baby. <laughs> Today is move day now driving to London is not that simple especially because he has to go skiing with some friends So we're packing everything up into two cars, the Kia and Seb's Mini. Today, we're actually driving to Turin, Italy, because it's kind of like a stop-off point on our way. Then Geneva, and then London. Right, so next few days are gonna be interesting. I've had to pack up all of my stuff, and it's come to this. One, two, three, four, drone, five, six bags, and I have two more in there. And we're taking this. Ta-da! This is the Fanatec, uh, it's currently covered with an air mattress. Fanatec setup simulator. Uh, and I somehow have to fit this in the back of the Kia with all my bags. Sick. And one of my bags. And one of your bags. And one of my bags. How big's your bag? Like, sizable. Seb is the most useless packer ever. He said all day, right? I've been at work. He said all day to pack and get the car sorted, right? I Look at this. Home. Then he said, we have, to leave, we have to leave about half an hour. I was like, okay, fine. So I packed all my stuff, bearing in mind I've driven from London. <laughs> and then I packed all my stuff and managed to pack my full car. And my car's a lot smaller than his. It's now and about an hour and a bit after he said we've got half an hour to leave. And he still hasn't taken any of these bags upstairs. So It's a really loving flatmate, roommate situation going on. <laughs> oh, and, and we, we are moving in together in London. He's moving into my house. We're moving into his house. Temporarily until I find another place because the f is staying there. <laughs> It's, I've got the heavy end, and I'm doing it with one hand. Yeah, there you go. Alright, fine. How did we do it last time, remember? We put it in sideways. We're doing a seriously bloody strong vlog. Big ones first, this one. Right, this is going to be a bit of editing magic. Boom! Done! Does it close? No! Way! What an idiot. Bye house, this is it. Goodbye. Hit the road, Jack. Been driving for a while. Actually really not that long, two hours. Really not that bad. This car is so comfy. Seb's in his car behind. Thankfully we're not in the same car. It is very dark. That is my ultimate road trip update for you guys. Torino, here we come. Anything to say to the vlog, Seb? Hello, Jeffrey. Hello, Jeffrey. Today you know you. Seb the lady's been speeding the whole way. Cheers for that. Anyways. At one point he stuck his arse out of the window. 
And he's very productive, this this boy. We've made it. We've made it to Turin. And look who I'm with. Ella, Mr. Cars and Coffee, who's been in a bunch of videos before. You can find his Instagram and everything down below. We're talking Cars and Coffee because I'm going to be going to Cars and Coffee Brescia, which is one of my favorite events of the year, in not too long. So stay tuned for that. Seb's also here, unfortunately. And first stop when you arrive in Italy is get some Italian food. I'm going to try and film this discreetly, but someone's brought a horse into the restaurant. Well, it's not a horse. It's just the world's biggest well dog. I don't know if you can tell, but how it's massive. I forgot to film the food. Here's my solution. Filmed it on an Insta story type thing. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't. Risotto and pasta, there you go. Oh, and also, by the way, here's Francesco's Speciale. Now time to take the Speciale out. You guys know this car, you know I love 458. It's my dream car in the whole world, so this is gonna be a very, very good day. First things first, we need to go get fuel. Here we go. This interior spec is awesome as well. Start button. Oh, yeah. This is a little gadget you can get in Ferraris, and it opens the valves, right? So which one closes? The one close. One close. I don't know if you can hear the difference. And then two opens. <laughs> Listen to this noise. <laughs> That's why I love this car. <laughs> it sounds so good. Naturally aspirated V8 Ferrari engines. Those downshift. Oh, yes, this is a good day. Time to fill it up. I'm actually gonna get to drive this car, so stay tuned for that in a tiny bit. But I thought whilst he's filling the car up, I'd show you the interior spec. As you can tell, we've got these sports seats with the awesome perf perforated section right here in the middle. We've got the contrasting Ferrari prancing horse perforated up here as well. Alcantara all around, headlining in the front. We got these, so no glove box in this one. They're kind of like knee bumpers, um, so that when you brake hard, if you hit your knee there. Carbon fiber door cards, which are very, very cool, with the door handle right here and a little Alcantara uh, thing that you can hold on to for when your driver's going a bit insane, which most likely he will be in this car. This cool structure, or reverse automatic you press that to put into manual mode and launch which you can use a lot in this car because it's double clutch as you guys know and obviously the full what they call the driver's section the driver's area um, carbon fiber so we got the paddles there not like uh, McLaren's this is only uh, right to go up and left to go down and then the steering wheel with the indicators the windscreen wipers the lights the bumpy road mode the engine start and the manatee no currently in wet because it is wet guys you join me now in the driver's seat i have francesco right next to me and we're going to get started so first thing you have to know with this uh put it into man into first gear by pulling the paddle off we go you got the uh indicators on the steering wheel Ah, oh, it's such a special feeling car. It's very wet right now, and we're on tiny Italian roads, so we can't go fast at all. But this car, naturally aspirated, 605 horsepower, V8, double clutch gearbox, and this, if you don't know, is the track version of the 458 Italia. It's the 458 Italia, 458 Spider, 458 Speciali, and then a the Spider version of this, which they call the Aperta, which is the one that you really want, but they're worth an absolute fortune. These things are going up in value already. And oh, every time I get into one of these, you guys know that I've said it so many times that this is my dream car. And Francesco is next to me and we don't have a wide angle. I just want to say a huge thank you to you for this. We've also got pretty bald tires on this car, so we need to be very careful. But the noise, even just going slowly, and the gearbox is so responsive. It's just the right balance of like track feeling car, but also usable and just so much emotion because when you drive something like a GT3, which I love, or a GT3 RS, it's very track focused and not the most emotional thing in the world. Although, it's still pretty emotional, but this just takes things to a whole new level. We were both talking, Francesco and I, about the best emotional experiences we've ever had in cars. We're both lucky enough to have driven a Zonda. We both agreed that that was our number one, but number two was the 458. And if you don't know, I actually own, still technically is for sale, a Lotus Exige Sport 380. And this actually somewhat has similar characteristics in the way that you feel all the bumps, you feel a lot through the steering. This is power steering, unlike my Lotus, but you just feel so much, it's so communicative, so direct. The brake pedal, carbon, carbon ceramics come as standard on this car. What a car, you ready? 
they're trying to uh, trying to slide the rear tires already, and that was maybe not even a quarter throttle. You're a lucky man. <laughs> Driving a Ferrari in Italy, what's it like? Well, first of all, gets a lot of attention, and actually around here because the roads really aren't that good, especially now because they've just had snow and all the salt on them. People own cars like this around here, but we were talking about it. They don't actually drive them, so these people don't actually get to see their local pride and joy, Ferrari, all the time. So when they do, they really do make the most of it, and it gets so much attention. And it, it just feels at home driving a Ferrari through the Italian countryside. There's nothing quite like it. It really just—it's its own experience, and until you kind of experience it, you'll never be able to know what it's like and then once you have you can never compare it to anything the noise is so deep but so clear and so like when you drive a 488 for example it sounds amazing everyone who says the 488 doesn't sound good it's not true it's a very good sounding car it's just you'll never be able to compare it to the naturally aspirated sound and that's something i'm worried about with the future gt3 992 cars because they're going to be apparently not naturally aspirated this is one of the all-time greats, guys. This has to be one of the all-time greats. 458 will forever be such a special car for me. And I figured, seeing as we were driving to Geneva, and you, Francesco, was here, it was definitely, definitely worth stopping by for this, because, ah, this is special. on this car it's beautiful it's beautiful very beautiful thank you very much to this guy please go follow him on instagram and then on the 14th and 15th of april we're well Seb's actually not coming but i'm going with a pretty cool car to cars and coffee brescia so if you're in the area you need to stop by cars and coffee brescia the link to the website and everything will be down below it's an awesome event one of my favorites it was the first event i did in the exige sport 380 so a special event to me but i thought i'd show you around the speciality a bit this car is finished in a livery inspired by nicky lauda's formula one car from the 70s that's why it's got number 12 right here on the roof uh, and then the speciality has got a bunch of differences compared to the normal 458 so little things like this little winglet right here for the aerodynamics and then even if you look down under here it's got winglets here which move for the aerodynamics depending on the speeds you're doing and everything which will direct the air differently it's got the dual exits for the exhausts uh, this massive air vent right here and then round front as well it's got what i think looks epic is this hood air vent which on the pista they've actually done slightly differently and added a wing down here my video on the pista will also be linked around um, but looks so so cool i love all of the details these lights look so aggressive these are slightly bigger than on the normal 458 and the front grill here is different you don't have these winglets that you have on the 458 italia which uh, has been replaced for more ventilation here in the front so looks very very cool and just again massive thank you to Francesco for letting me drive it one of my all-time favorite cars so any opportunity to drive a car like this specifically a Ferrari in the front in the French no the Italian mountains is pretty cool we're gonna be hopping back into the Kia in the bit in a bit though to head to Geneva we've got a three-hour drive in front of us Whoa! we came to see that big building there but there's so much so much fog we can't really see it so it hasn't really worked mother nature not really working with us because the photos of this car in front of that would have been epic. It's literally, it's right there. But uh, uh, can you start? Yeah, 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 now you can kind of see it. This is insane. Whoa. Francesco, is this your, your Tuesday house? You only yeah, come here on Tuesdays. Ready? Yeah. Place. Ah, nice Don't entrance way. Right. Yeah. Bit low key though. You could have gone a bit bigger. Should we just leave it there? Let's go explore. <laughs> go explore inside. This is, uh, you're being our tour guide today. Are you ready? Yeah. It's kind of scary i'm not gonna lie inside. oh really yeah, can we well, take them with us yeah treasures yeah cars good and <laughs> yeah cars and coffee treasures there's gonna be a zonder inside in we go oh wow i don't know what we just walked into there's so many people in here but it's huge look someone's being exercised no, no, no. what's the word it's an exorcism but i don't know what the word is for someone doing it Someone's freaky is coming on. Thanks for the input, Ted. Yeah, Thanks for the input. <laughs> I don't like this place. This is scary. <laughs> what was that all about? <laughs> Hit the road! On our way to Geneva. Da -da 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 not gonna lie, a bit tired. We went to sleep a bit late last night. But all is good. We're going through the mountains, which should be interesting because apparently there's snow there. Fun times. Rear wheel drive car, summer tires. 
Why do I do this to myself every time? I did the same thing with the Lotus. But my theory is if the Lotus could make it, this can make it, no problem. Also, I just have to say, because I feel like I maybe haven't said it enough, this car, the Kia Stinger GTS, for these sorts of drives, I've got the adaptive cruise control on now, all of my stuff in the back, heated steering wheel, heated seats, Apple CarPlay, it is the dream for these sorts of drives. I really, every time I do a drive like this in the Kia, it astounds me because, and again, they lent me this car as a loaner. This is not, I don't want you guys to think it's some sort of paid promotion or anything. This is just a loaner they lent me. I don't have to say any of this. I genuinely believe it. For driving every day and for doing road trips, you need no more than this. 365 brake is plenty. You can do whatever speed you want if you're in Germany. It's fantastic, this car, for this, so... Uh, thank you, Kia, you're brilliant. Well, this has happened now. It is chucking it down with snow. Brilliant news. This wasn't really part of the plan. A ton of snow on the road. Really glad I've got summer tires on. As Seb said, really glad I've got summer tires on. We're on a motorway now doing 41 miles an hour. Please, let's just get there, stop snowing, or at least don't settle on the road, please. I want to get home. Help! Help! Yes, 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 yes! I finally made it home. I can now relax, sleep a bit. I want to say the announcement. I'm super happy that you guys now know that I'm going to be moving to London. Also, one thing I want to address, seeing as we were talking about 458s in this video, when I did my video at the Geneva Motor and I talked about the potential of financing cars like a uh, Hurricane or 488 or something like that, you guys all asked me why wouldn't I get a 458. Now, of course, there's still something I'm considering if I were to go into the world of finance. However, I'm, I'm not going to touch on this too, too much. I'm going to keep this short. 458s being older than 488s and Hurricanes means that, first of all, often you don't get as good finance deals, and second of all, they're not covered by warranty, so the one running costs can be super high on those cars. So that's one of the reasons I didn't talk about it in my Geneva show. Also, it wasn't a new car, so I didn't talk about it. That's addressing that, because I've been getting a lot of messages. Moving to London, so I'm going to be spending still a lot of time in Geneva here, most of my time in Geneva, but when I'm not here, I'm going to be spending it in London. Now time to look for an apartment. Thanks for watching. As always, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you again very very soon. Bye!